So I've been working on my Indie Metroidvania Dewdrop Dynasty for the last four years now. And yeah, that's that's a long time. And with the game finally coming out this year, yes, you heard me right, I had this realization that the mechanics still weren't finished. So what better time like the present to finish this game? Mechanically, that is. There's still some more stuff to do. Now in the past devlogs, I played around with all sorts of mechanic ideas, like these partners that can change your like weapons abilities called ammo-lings, Zelda-like dungeons that you could traverse through and solve puzzles, and I even thought about adding monster taming. I know, I know, I was, I was really all over the place the time. So poof, I threw all those ideas aside. No, I might come back to that Zelda dungeon one for like a free update after the game comes out. It just, that one just sounds like so much fun. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I still felt like the game was missing something. And after playing around with it, I realized that the solution was really simple. It was just to create kind of a Zelda like item system where you could equip new weapons or abilities and you could only equip two at a time. So it wouldn't make it overpowered. So I just took the weapons that I had already created for the game and I made it so you could equip them up in the slot and when you press the button yay it works i think after this i had to actually make a way for you to equip the items and obtain the items so for all the items in the game i created item drops for them i even added for abilities health upgrades gun upgrades keys tickets everything you can imagine i had to create an inventory system for it so now if you want to change out your weapon all you have to do is swap it out in the inventory beautiful and what just took me 10 seconds to describe took me two weeks to actually make oof so now that we had the item mechanic implemented and health upgrades and all the things that we finally need to play this game, I still had to make a system for one of the most underlooked features in Dewdrop, and that's the ticket machine. Now, if any of you have played the demo for Dewdrop Dynasty or seen footage of the game, you'll notice that there's these tickets that you can collect throughout the world. Now that's beautiful and all that, but they didn't really do anything in the game. And I've always wanted to create a gotcha slash vending machine type thing in a game. So I thought it'd be fun if you could redeem tickets and break open capsules to get to get prizes. So that's what I did. I took this dirt room and I had some balls bounce around in it. At first I thought this was going to be super hard, but it turns out that the rigid body node in Godot is fantastic. I also made them react to different weapons and the direction that you're hitting them. And honestly, this feels like a game in itself. After that, I really wanted this gotcha machine to feel like a casino or something. I don't know. I had Sonic on the brain. So I made some props and tiles and even made a glass pipe for the capsules to fall out of. And of course you need a way to redeem tickets. So I created the ticket machine NPC, who is probably my favorite favorite characters so far. What was fun about this is I got to create a yes no prompt uh, for dialogue and also branching dialogue as well, which is awesome and I'm going to be able to use it for cutscenes and things down the road. Now there's a ton of other mechanics I finished that I don't want to tell you about because I don't want to spoil too much of the game, but a few things I'll mention are this ice wand ability to freeze enemies, being able to push boxes for puzzles, and prototyping new bosses like this. Um, this is terrifying. And the one other big thing I was able to work on was updating the Steam page. The the screenshots in there were so old that it it, it wasn't even the same game at that point. I also hired the wonderful illustrator Giacomo, who you may have seen his work on Tadpole Tales, to help me redesign the cover art for Dewdrop, and I'm super happy with the results. There's so much more that I worked on that I can't share with you right now, but I'm happy to say that the mechanics are finally finished for Dewdrop Dynasty, and that makes me so happy. Now, something I've never done is never reveal how many wishlists Dewdrop Dynasty has, and shout out to Watt Design for doing this in his own devlogs for Isle Goblin. But I love the idea of being super transparent transparent about wishlists. And currently Dewdrop has almost 14,000 wishlists as of this recording, which is absolutely incredible and mind boggling that that many people are excited to play this game. Now my goal right now is currently to hit 20,000 wishlists if possible before the game comes out later this year. So if you like Dewdrop Dynasty or you want to support the channel, please go over and wishlist it today as it is one of the most helpful things that you can do. And on a final note, I've been working on this game for so long, it's weird to think about actually finishing it. I still have so many cool ideas and elements I would love to add, but I just, I can't keep adding things forever. It's time for the home stretch and to finally release this game. And to be honest, the thought of releasing it scares me. But I've come to the realization that at the end of the day, this is my first commercial game and it isn't the next Hollow Knight and it isn't the next big AAA game. It's just a short but sweet game that I've poured thousands of hours into. And hopefully, hopefully, some of you will enjoy playing it as much as I've enjoyed working on it. Now, speaking of game development, if if you want to improve your programming skills or just become a better developer, then check out a word from today's sponsor, Brilliant. 
Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational advanced math to programming, AI, neural networks, and more, with new lessons being added each month. And their interactive lessons have been proven to be six times more effective than passive learning, like just watching random lecture videos. Being able to see what you're learning is really important for engaging with concepts. And Brilliant storytelling makes abstract ideas actually relatable. One course I really like is Computer Science Fundamentals. It basically is Programmers 101. It helps with decision making, writing, writing programs and algorithms. It's fantastic and I highly recommend it. To try everything Brilliant has to offer, there is a 30 day free trial. All you have to do is visit brilliant.org slash goodgifts or click on the link in the description. And I just wanna say thank you to Brilliant for supporting the channel and my game dev journey. Also make sure to check out my website, goodgifts.fun. I got all sorts of weird stuff on there, Q&A, interviews of me, eventually secret things on the website. Yes, there will be secrets. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for what might be the final devil for Dewdrop Dynasty. See you then.